In this video, we're going to look at using Click Software to edit a program. You've already seen videos from Automation Direct on how to start this software. So what we had started is the Click Programming software, and we have a new project. First, I want to kind of point out the windows. There's a couple windows. This window is the navigation, and it has a program tab. That's the one we'll mainly use. We'll be specifically using Address Picker and uh, sometimes Status Monitor but those are our two main ones, but mostly address picker. Functions, these are for setting up ports, things we don't have to do for the uh, first software but, uh, programs that we'll be doing. In a later course, they may get used. Uh, there is access here to a software manual, which is the same as the help. And we'll look at that a little bit later. And then we also have a tab here for PLC to connect, disconnect, etc. But most of that we're going to find when we want to go to the PLC. We'll use this tab to connect. And if we want to do anything else, we'll use this. The other one you'll become familiar with is called the instruction window. And that has all the instructions we'll be using. They're organized by contacts, coils, whatever they might be, their functions. And as you've seen, it's just a very simple thing to, to do that. Now, those are the basic windows. One window that's not so obvious is I'll show you in just a moment. We're going to create a program. Some of the shortcuts is I can just type right in here X1. And it will put that instruction there. And right over here, I can do Y1. Now, I'm going to... I'm not connected to a program right now, but I can still say I want to check it. And up will come this window that says, I have a warning, there's no end here. Now sometimes people in the lab will take this window and slide it down so that it's not really noticeable. And when we do the same download or check, we get an error but we don't know where to look. So it'll say there's an error, but we don't know where to go look for it. So there I'm going to add an end. So that's my program. It's ready to run. And if I was to connect to a PLC and download it. Right now, it's going to write it, it's going to connect it, and it says there's no warnings. I'm going to skip downloading it, because that's not going to change anything. We would have got the error. So now that we've created a program, I want to talk about a branch. A branch is on the same rung, these numbers 1, 2, 3. So to add a branch, there's this edit thing called line. And I don't prefer the line tool. I just simply use the shortcut, as it's a little faster, Control er Arrow. So I'm holding down the Control key. That reveals that blue line. And I tap down arrow once. And now I have a place to put in a new instruction. I can also drag instructions here and put those in. Then I can do control arrow to go back up. And now I've made my OR connection. So that's a useful feature. The other thing we can do sometimes is we want to add something to here. We might do something like this um, where we want to add something just to the right of here. I'm going to right click on the instruction. I'm going to add a column, insert column after cursor. And now I can say, well, this only works if this bit is false or true. In this case, I'm looking for it to be off. So that's how to make a double branch or increase something. Okay. Um, then we look at the next thing. How do we insert a rung? Well, you're kind of used to this, where I'm just going to create a new rung. And I'm going to say x1 is also, I'm going to just hit delete key there. And I'm going to say, well, this is going to go to an instruction we haven't seen. But I'm going to put counter 5 or counter 1 there. And I'm going to say it's going to count up to 5. And we see it made that. Okay. Um, so now we can see our new instruction. 
But looking at the screen I chose to record, I'm just going to delete that, and I'm just going to use an output. And we'll say Y2. But now I decide for some reason I want to put a rung above here. I right click on the two and I can it's insert a rung before the cursor or after. I can add another row, etc. So whatever I want to do, I can do here. I also have edit rung comment and these basically say why is this here? It makes let's say the motor start. Usually information just to help the technician find their way what's going, what's the purpose of it. Now, one way to access help is to click on an instruction and hit help. Then you'll get a help screen that shows, we got to bring this in here a little bit. So I got that a bit oversized. We bring in this help file, it explains how things work gives us example. Keys are usually in this first paragraph where it gives us the exact rules of this instruction. The normally open contact is on when the related bit is on. Then they show a little example of how you would use it. And again explains it. Well this is for all of the instructions. Even if they were over here we'd be able to pull that up on some instruction. The other possibility you might use is under function. You can find the whole software or hardware manual. Hardware manuals are printed out by the benches. Software is there. So that's the basics of working with this software. Be sure to check back on this video to review. We learned about right clicking, being able to insert or add a column. You can also do things like this. You can go copy and you can go paste if you so desire. You can't copy from one click program to another, but within the program you can. So that's the basics of using it, and mostly just ask your instructor or the IAs if you have more questions as you're using it.